Okay, so this is just to demonstrate that Nash is set up to block all attacks um, and also to do the scythe on wake up. The sweep won't reach, uh, but a reversal spiral arrow will. And from max range again, the hard kick one will. This bit's just to show that she's positive after her jabs and light kicks. Nash is set up to do his jab, but it's just four frames after each hit. And a lot of Kami's buttons will just counter hit him from that, which can get combos afterwards. So standing light kick into crouching medium punch in particular is really good because uh, if you're close when you do the standing light kick you can land two crouching medium punches if you've got a V trigger you get extra time to confirm that into something that does a fair bit more damage. This again is similarly if your opponent's blocking your standing medium punch when you're very close um, but then tries to jab out with any button the kind of stuff that you can land after it so close medium punch, another medium punch and a crouching medium kick for example and then follow ups after that or standing hard punch even is really powerful right in spiral arrow or uh, cannon spike Now this part's just to demonstrate meaty setups. If your opponent does anything after Kami's critical art and you dash up twice and do a crouching hard punch, you're going to hit them. And you'll do quite a lot of damage. This is a setup after sweeps. If your opponent does anything that isn't invincible, you'll beat it out. Nash's uh, EX Scythe is not invincible. So the ones that I'm showing you work for quick rise. Here's a little one that you can loop. Crouching uh, light punch and he stand in medium punch and he sweep again. The similar one to do in the corner after your cannon spike. Here's another wee one you can loop after a light kick uh, spiral arrow. And uh, that's the end. I hope you enjoyed my video game advice.